Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Move Love. Ooh, crank that shit up. Uh, last time. Actually, crank it down a little. I can't hear myself. <laughs> last time, it was just pure chaos. You know, we met a new teacher. We met the final main heroine. Uh, the, the rivalry has started between Sumita and Maya. But, we are doing the Sumika route, and according to the guide, we do just have to uh, press Sumika. Firstly, I would try to eat both to please, to be true neutral, but can't be true neutral here. Even though IRL also, I would probably just choose mayo since Sumika's just leftover lunch from uh, yesterday. It's clearly lacking in quality Sumika. You gotta, you gotta push a little hard if you wanna win, okay? But yeah, we'll go Sumika. Sumita, give me those chopsticks. Owned. Owned. A spork? Well, you know, since I can't eat both, obviously. I owe you one for not eating it yesterday after all. It's pretty cute. What's the matter, Tama? You seem down. She wanted to eat the bid lunch. She thought she was gonna get some too? Tama eating good tonight? But look at her hair, man. How do you even do that? Fine by me. It'd be a waste if no one ate it. Sorry about that, Mia. Yours honestly did sound better. Just saying. Oh, well, that's very open-minded for a view. Come to think of it, Maya, aren't you trying to eat something? Oh, I see. Backup plants? That's a... Uh, big brain. But she's probably licking her wounds. Beats me. I mean, Tsukiyomi is her strategist. She needs a war meeting, honestly. But for some reason, it makes me feel a little uneasy. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's eat. What the? We got, we got service, too? Are you an idiot? Don't mind if I do. Look at the Octodog. The Octodog tech. Jeez, I'm not in kindergarten. Did you really think this was an age-appropriate lunch for me? That has nothing to do with this. Munch, munch. Mm, good idea. First off, you didn't pack enough in here. Healthy young men need more nourishment than this. On the other hand, my gullet isn't big enough to eat Maya's lunch on top of it. Use sizes of today's lunches as reference for when you made tomorrow's, okay? Do something about all these embarrassingly embarrassing kitty foods. They are pretty cute. Cannot deny that. What men need is guts, toughness, backbone. <laughs> uh, 
as she continues to feed you octodots with the spork. Munch, munch. Don't try to change the subject. This is serious business, alright? Next time, make me a lunch that just oozes with manliness. I don't even know what a manly lunch is. Steak? <laughs> Steak and potatoes? No man knows what the future might hold. Exactly, but it sounds like. Now try to wow me with your cooking stairs. There, hold on. Competition is the basis of capitalism. Do your best. Based? But man, that seasoning was pretty good. I guess I should have expected that much from you, Sumita. You really do get me. Uh, wait a second. I idiot, what the heck? Why are you getting all embarrassed? Why wouldn't you do your best when you're cooking for someone else? What the hell, man? Don't act like it's such a big deal. She started it. She blushed first. That That's not true. I'm gonna go take a quick walk to help my lunch settle. Well... That was definitely a bizarre lunch period, but in retrospect, maybe it wasn't so bad. In fact, the situation might be described as somewhat of a lucky break. Hee hee hee. Oh man, I'm not quite sure why, but I feel like I could get used to this kind of life. Ho oh, ho, I wish all you could cafeteria swarming piranhas all the best of luck. Now that my appetite has been sated, perhaps I'll go and have a laugh at their expense. Excuse me? Oh? Huh? Yeah? Is this the visit's prep room? Some suspicious devices are making weird noises. Did we get like pushed or kidnapped? Some greenish fluid is bubbling inside a beaker, and beside it, there's another one filled to the brim with some kind of black liquid. Is there an experiment going on? And also, how does this have anything to do with physics? <sighs> okay, this has got to be... <laughs> that? Whose voice is that? Wah! What the fuck is... Oh, wait, that's the teacher in a... What that? In a Satumbus? Darkstalkers girl outfit? Uh-huh. What, 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 Marimo-sensei? <laughs> Why are you doing science in an erotic cosplay? Or is, are you really a demon? Ah. That's who I was thinking more of. I knew it. <laughs> no, I haven't. I was just walking happily along the hallway when you kidnapped me. I appreciate the aura, though. So what are you doing? Well, I can understand Yuko-sensei being here, but... That outfit? Jesus. <laughs> She's a cosplayer? Stare. Um, well, I'm certainly impressed. What does that mean? 
responsibility for what? Ah. Oh, the... I thought she was talking about her hitting Sumika with a car, but I'm like, how does that have to do with Marimo? But no, it's uh, telling Maya that there's a demon in her class. Right. Bustling. Beats me, dude. Who's she talking about? Someone other than Tsukiyomi san? Probably other maids. We saw them in the opening. You're one to talk, Sensei. My fault? Is she doing this as, like, punishment? For us doing that? Yes, I believe it's your fault, Yuto Sensei actually owned. It's a great response. Mei and Cosplay have nothing to do with one another. On top of that, I don't really think it's my fault that Mei is charged in there. <laughs> it, it was actually a, it was a pretty good comeback. Much obliged. Coffee then. Uh huh, you want me to drink out of a beaker? This is some s ghetto setup. I'm starting to think I'd rather just have tea, actually. It's a beaker filled with green bubbling fluid. You know, on set in that, I think I'm good. Safest choice. Oh? Ah. So fast. She's already done changing. Speed changer. What that? It's kind of cold. Rip. Yikes, Marimo chance turning to ash, literally. The there, there, Sensei. Your boyfriend clearly had no taste in women. Oh, here? Please don't ask me, Sensei. Don't let her get you down. It'll be okay. Well, one day, surely. Yeah! Too much? Huh? The harem lifestyle. Okay? How does she know about that? It's not even your class. What? No. Probably because Maya forced her way in? Something about getting scouted, I thought? Huh? No open seats? What does she mean by that? I mean, I really couldn't tell you, actually. Mm, yeah, kinda. Oh, well then, I'd better get... Huh? 
It was nice. You mean that outfit? Well, a donor, I suppose. Flashier. I mean, it was pretty flashy already. What? She's scheming? Let her cook though? I like where it's going. Hello, the cross girl. Yes, it's over. I can go home now. Ah? What the fuck? Yet? <laughs> she was about to dip. あなたも掃除当番よ。何か言いたそうね。まさか自分は学校来てないから汚してないなんてこと考えてるんじゃ。さすが。そんな言い訳は通用しないから。規則なんだからわがまま言わないでやりなさい。組織の犬。<笑> Is she a daughter of the system? She's a top dog, though. What? <laughs> yeah, my reaction exactly. Oof. I mean, how hard can be cleaning a classroom be? With three people? That should kind of take you like. 15 20 minutes most ammo's right 10 if they're fast i don't know how thorough they have to be what sweep floors clean chalkboard clean desks maybe i don't know if they're mopping we didn't do that shit in high school we didn't have the class leader system it, it seems like a pretty good idea though but yeah oh come on it's just a little cleanup what's the big idea What's the big deal? Sorry, not today. Oh? Ditched. Oh, uh. You're letting that happen? Is that allowed? Switch duties? <clears throat> May out of nowhere? She laughed. You gotta move the dust to. I mean, I guess, yeah, you would have to move them to clean the floor properly. It's just like, it's not an everyday thing, right? It has to be like once a week. What are you, are you an idiot? Don't just go with the flow. Successfully dodged. Huh? <laughs> sure you can't just call in an army of maids to clean the whole school? Novel? Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, choice! Cleaner, run away. Right, it's on my phone today because I have no internet. Clean! Perfect. <laughs> It's not that bad anyways. Plus we got quality time with all three of them. I guess runaway might trigger the other girls event. Alright, I get it. Jeez, you sure know how to tell my motivation. Yeah, yeah. We're done, we're done! Yo, time skipped. Class rep, you going home too? Oh, 
Oh, I see. What? <laughs> She's on the grind. Huh? I respect it. Oh, right, so that's what you meant. Did I hit a sore spot? My bad, dude. Yeah, be nice. Still don't know who that is. <clears throat> That's a tough question. Yoroi <laughs> That's quite literally sending him around the world, face the world. It's not really a learning experience, more like he's being conscripted. It's his dad's hobby. Think death march, not pleasure cruise. I wouldn't be surprised if they were literally in the dead center of it. That's what his dad is like. They're probably on a raft or something. Uh, were you even listening? What, well, we got a snoop? Oh ho. Well, I'm pretty sure I can imagine what it might be, though. She says, while also totally peeking, hypocrite. Sumita, let's just pretend we never saw it. Yeah. Well, I can understand why Dialect might want to try batting for the other team. Okay. He's in two dies. Don't worry about it, Maya. I don't think you'll be joining them anytime soon. Yeah, sure. That's right. Now let's just put this back. And it's getting love letters, though. It's pretty intense. That'll be a fun... That'll be fun to watch later. Now let's go. Let's go. Yo, oh, please tell me we were riding in this 60 meter limo. Think I forgot about that shit? That was a hilarious gauge. Takahashika. <laughs> Ooh, is he gonna like that? What is this music? Why is it so intense? It's going insanely hard? Are we fighting? Well, I'm sure she's already heard all about it. Because she's always around? Poof. Teleport behind you, nothing personal, kid. <laughs> God damn it. She's supposed to appear on you. Oh God, what's she doing this time? Yay. Huh? Can we? Yay! Super limo! Please show it. Describe feel? Okay, here we go. <laughs> They're describing the feel! The flowing scenery. The amazingly comfortable seats. Amazing. This is amazing. Thank you. 
thank you. I'm taking this shit in. But seriously, isn't 60 meters a bit much? I mean, it's only just double, literally double the size of the world's biggest limo. I mean, how does it make turns? That's just one thing I don't understand. <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Is he bending the laws of physics to turn? That's not the issue here, I'm sure of it. Hmm? There seems to be a lot of trucks parked here. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Did Maya buy out the whole neighborhood? What that? The neighbors living across the street and adjacent to my house are all standing out here jovially holding cake boxes. Why would you move away so suddenly? Somehow I doubt they're slipping down to escape a gambling debt. I'm a little lost here. Ah, the movers are calling them. We're not, we're not seeing them for a year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're getting a fat check. Sure. Oh, vroom. Oh, the trucks had the same load on them. Looks like the hand guard for, uh, from a sword. Something seems a little weird about this. Actually, more than a little. Uh, I double actually. I misspoke. What are you guys up to this time? I just bought the neighborhood. Inconveniencing. I did say that, yes. We're assuming to go in. Can I really trust you? Sumita, quit blatantly eavesdropping and get over here. You can just normally listen, it's fine. Nobody knows? Hey, this was from the opening, I think. What the fuck is that? Look at these crazy things. Look at the shape of that speaker. It's kind of ugly, but these are lit. Love how she just wears her bow, never takes it off. I love to see it. Huh? She's watching TV. Apparently, she just had no idea where the, there were more channels than just the news. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. I, nobody knows. Well, I know. Well, I have a pretty good guess that I've said a bunch of times, so I won't repeat myself. Don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Even if I asked, my tiny commoner brain may not be able to understand. As long as I don't get a heart attack every month, I don't care. I mean, you probably should just ask. I mean, it's, it's a pretty interesting situation. I think, I think it's worth exploring. Nah, just optimistic. <laughs> yeah? Well, what be okay? It's a little awkward. Guess we'll just have to see, honestly. Tomorrow's another morning, just like any other. You know what'll happen if I don't have my usual wake up call?
Yeah, don't make me late, all right? Okay. Good night. Wednesday. Guess I'm awake now. It's 7.45 a.m., 15 minutes earlier than usual. What a healthy lifestyle I have. What about our human alarm clock? And Maya isn't here for once. Phew. As soon as I awoke, I merely tensed up, expecting things to play out the usual way, like I was on pins and needles. Maybe that's why I didn't just fall back to his sleep. But then, where could Maya have spent the night? Let's see. Nope, she's not on the floor. Maybe under the bed? Nope, not there either. Oh, maybe the closet? Nah, of course not. I guess she could be in my parents' bedroom then. Hmm? What's this? Oh, I didn't notice. Damn, I bet they. I didn't notice the new door. This door. Has it always been here? No, I'm pretty positive it hasn't. That's weird. There's no room on the other side of this wall. Just open air. So why is there a door here? We slept through this construction shit? Am I dreaming? If I am, then this is quite the strange dream. Just waking up and up uneventfully in the morning would probably rain dead last on my list of dreams I'd like to have. But... It's definitely a new and interesting development. Did I trigger a new flight somewhere, perhaps? What'll happen if I open this door? If this were a mansion in one of those survival horror games, I'd be really it'd be, there'd be a really strong enemy waiting behind it. If this were an RPG, it would lead to a hidden treasure room. And if this was a shooter or a beat-em-up, actually, random doors don't usually appear in those games. Well, that's enough pointless speculation. Seriously, though, what the hell is this doing here? Yo, it's the sensor patch! Oh, I gotta censor those nipples, huh? So I need to mark this. Gotta put it through the machine before we, uh, we upload this. <laughs> Oof. Hello, Maya. What is this? Like 32 minutes, 33. Well, I guess we can play it out. I, don't, I, I doubt we're going to be doing the lovemaking. So I'll just have to read it out because you can't see the text. Ah. Mm, Otakuru, good morning. Close up to the boobs. No, now I, gotta send, I just got to make it bigger. I'm way too lazy to move the sensors. That's probably fine, right? It's just panties. But... I, 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 I said I would read that and I totally forgot. She said, what is it? You're up early, Tatru? Mm -hmm. But boobs Baboops? What? what do you mean? Oh crap, my nose is bleeding. Does that like really happen? Do people get nosebleeds when like a sudden horny event happens? I feel like that's doodle worthy. Can you get nose? Bleeds from lewd events? Is that is that how? You, oh, I I can't do those searches because I have no internet and I'll use my phone. Curse you, Rogers! Twenty four hours without internet? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? It's twenty twenty three. Can't hold an internet connection. Wait, I need a. Uh. Can you get? Nose bleeds from 
a loot event? I don't know if that's the best way to word it, but I can't think of another thing. Oh wait, I put... I spelled loot round? I put lose. And I spelled event round. I'm losing it. Nosebleed. In Japanese media, healthy young men have no other sexual outlet who often suffer a nosebleed. Can get a nosebleed from attraction. The notion that sexual arousal causes the heart rate and blood pressure to rise is something that's a well documented fact. However, in actuality, sexual arousal and bloody noses have no direct connection. According to Kotaku, the most trusted news source in the world. Anyways. It doesn't really matter. I was just interested. May <laughs> yeah, times like these. Hmm. <laughs> oh ho, but if I did that, hmm, I see. Is that so? Why? Why is me on the other side of this door? <laughs> the latest Kia? Yeah? Whoa! I just got clocked. Boobies. Don't come, Sumita. It's a trap. <laughs> Owned. Oh, Takahashi san. Morning. ノートパソコンだな。理論の研究家熱心だな。ありがとうございます。本日はいかがしましょう。そうだな。<laughs> yeah, good luck on your your theory. Anyway, what was that all about? That mysterious door. Well, it's certainly true that I won't be at risk of having a heart attack every time I wake up anymore, but... Maya, are you the reason all the neighbors moved away? <laughs> Why does everything you do have to be so ridiculously over the top? Hmm? No, Sumita! Watch out! Run! Ooh. Good dodge. Almost had some PTSD there. Good grief, how do you even drive like that at this hour? Pretty much. Speed freaks? Set them up? Huh? Well, he did come up with some, uh, high-speed transportation theory, I guess. Not that I have any idea what that means. Well, I'll believe you. Oh! We'll end here. Too many CGs, man, I wanna use them all for thumbnails. Anyways, good happy, good happy. Maya has bought out the neighborhood and expanded the house, I guess? Um, relationship with Sumita is going on. It kind of feel bad for Maya, because she's so naive, but at the same time, she's, you know, she, she's the invader in this love triangle, okay? 
We had a good thing going and she's like this hidden factor. Not that she's necessarily a, a bad factor, but it's, it's complicated. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're doing the Sumitar route, but just, just my uh, perspective on this relationship as a love triangle enjoyer. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time on some more Move Love Extra. Until then, see ya.